www.bottomboardwarp.com and today we're doing a review of iTwin. Now iTwin is a new way for file transfer. Um, it's a USB uh, device, flash device that basically allows you to connect two computers anywhere in the world. Uh, very simple uh, process. Let's open it up see what we have here. Uh, we do have our again starter guide. I suggest you read this. And we have our iTwin USB drives. Basically, what it is are two USB drives, one connected to your home PC. You basically detach it. You can see the back there. Very simple. You connect one to your home PC, and you connect one to you take with you on the road. So you can connect to any other PC or laptop wherever you are. And this allows you to basically do file transfer and uh, you know connect to your home PC or network and collect your files and documents and, and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug one to our home PC and then we'll uh, do the setup and see how well it works and uh, we'll come back and finish this up. But I, I do like it because it's very interesting, uh, just off the bat, super light, super easy, um, something that um, is pretty cool. The other cool thing about it is that even if, even if you lose one unit, you can still disable the other one. Um, uh, on there, it's very simple. Um, again, procedures are in here, um, all that stuff. I suggest you read this um, just so you know everything in depth. But we're gonna go ahead and connect it and see how well it works. All right, so I have my iTunes plugged into my laptop here. You can see different background, and we're gonna install it and connect to remote con computer. Now it should pop up on my desktop so it actually pops up there at the bottom it says okay, you guys can see that clearly it says bleach computer so that means I'm connected so now if we look here on our laptop or we go to remote files that's the file that's on my desktop so on the remote files for your laptop, which is of course I'm um, remotely away from my home base, which is the home base I iTwin, um, I have the Q180 file. On my Lenovo desktop here, on my system folder, I have the Q180 file. Now I could now on my laptop drag and copy the file to my, my laptop's uh, desktop here and I've copied a file completely now say for instance after copying this now copying and transfer depends on your network so that's that's the only thing here so you can see I have, I have this file here that I've taken from my desktop you can see it's here on my on my laptop and I can open it up here on my desktop also so the same file we've we've copied across uh, networks by just carrying a USB uh, folder also I can also transfer files other way same thing so I go into my system folder and I have this video here sorry I have this video here of Google Play store hands-on and you know what oh actually better still have this video of friends here playing golf me goofing around so I copy that into my system photo on my laptop and when I go here into my remote system folder that files there same goofy file now I could attempt to play it remotely and that's what I'm doing now oh, it says media file is already in use so you can't play remotely just let that out but I can close that up and I can copy the file and I can copy to my desktop there so that's pretty much iTwin in action so you don't have to carry um, you know huge hard drives it's basically a very small USB drive that allows you to um, to basically use your um, you know copy from one system to another now your only detriment here is that you are basically um, you, um, you only um, you only slow down by uh, speed so uh, this I'm copying this over a home network 
and the file size let me just look at the file size here for you guys so you guys know how big this is 120 megabytes and it says 60 seconds so it all differs from your internet connection and bandwidth and things like that so if you're on the road it might take longer it might take shorter but if you're looking to to say pick up files from home that you forgot or you know you're on the business on the go you have a lot of documents this is very great for that because you can you know you don't have to take them with you you just have to take that uh, USB connector as long as you're it's connected to your desktop back home and that's uh, or in the office it's connected you can transfer your files left and right and you should have no issues so I'm just waiting for this to finish uploading off my um, download to my desktop and we can check it out and see how well it functions um, so uh, and see we, if we can play that file but you do get the general idea of what the iTwin does um, uh, for someone who's on the go or someone who wants to get back connected and also if you know you're taking pictures away you want to transfer it back home things like that you can do even videos I mean it's, it's the same thing so here's the video so here we are playing some golf so that was transferred from my laptop of course to the desktop there so you guys can see that quite clearly and some goofy golf playing so let me not embarrass myself and just pause that and take that away so you get the idea what the iTwin can do and how we can take advantage of it so if you guys have any questions any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to our pages on Twitter Facebook and YouTube it's all board at work with two O's so um, this is Thunder E saying thank you for subscribe to Board Fam and also uh, check out our contest with uh, display link so you can win our AOC 16 inch monitor. So uh, thank you very much.